it's a weird thing when you find guys a lot of times they think that the girl is doing them a favor. They think yes. by giving their sad. time and, and the reality is that no woman, uh, like I will say this all the time, no woman dates a guy who she doesn't think is better than her. Now, better is a relative term. I agree. From her perspective. I agree. Um, I so agree. better is whatever she perceives is better. So I always tell the story. I remember I was like 23 years old and I was dating this. She was like 35, 37. And she was a detective and she had a condo and she had a Benz and it is and that. But with all of that she had, um, she was still very uh, worried about everything. Worried about, I mean, she made great money. She had a great house. She got a great car. But it was just like, well, what's next? It was just like Chicken Little. And I had, had nothing. I was, uh, huh? She had a gun? Yeah, she had a nine, a Glock. Oh, shit. Yes, yeah, son. Pantsuits and shit. Pantsuits with the badge on the hip. Mad yeah. sexy with the bat and the, and the button down white shirt. You know, like on oh, Law yeah. and Order. Y'all never played banks and guns and robbers and shit? With thigh that? highs on, son. Oh. Put the gun on and some thigh highs. But we'll talk That's about that lady. <laughs> 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 I used to pull her in and frisk her. Like, oh. get up there and spread them. Hey. Hey, uh, I found two grams on you. You're going down. Yeah. Dante would do it the wrong way. Be like, I need information. Oh I need names. <laughs> <laughs> Bang a head uh, against the wall. Like, yeah. you don't wanna know what I look, look what we have found in here. Nine and a half inches. How did, where did you stuff that? Um, so the what it's interesting what she liked about me uh, in retrospect was that I didn't give a fuck. Like yeah. I didn't have no money, I didn't have nothing, and I didn't give a fuck. She had everything, yeah. but she worried about everything, and so. She liked the fact that I was just, yo, it'll be fine. Like any one of the yeah. things that she thought was you a crisis. You had something she wanted. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. And so in yeah. her mind. That's, that, that's, that, that goes back to David Buss's stuff of higher value. Like that yeah. is that is part of social status. That's part of, of value, perceived social value. You don't give a shit, which means that you can breeze through life a lot easier and different opportunities would come your way. That's attractive to women. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's what I find is a difficult thing about about Indian men and 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 Jewish men is because they they give a shit is they about under everything. Oh, what'd you say? Here? Andre said something. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? No, I, I said I didn't know. I was asking if. Yeah, it's was, because it's kind of culturally, it's culturally, yeah. it's like you got to. What about, you know, it's their mothers. Yeah. Give, what, what, oh, what give a shit it? about what? Everything. Everything about the family, the family, uh, what the family will think, what the neighbors will think. Like, remember, we had Neil Nanda on and he yeah. talked about how like how gossipy the entire Indian culture is like, you know, the big thing would be like, oh, Raj Rajneesh got a C in his math test, like yeah. just everything. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. it, okay, it's okay. if you Very play into that Jewish world. Yeah. 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 If you decide to live that life. But then when the people are the freest is when they go, oh, I don't I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not I'm yeah. not doing that no more. Also, also immigrant parents are like that. Yeah. It's it's okay. especially when they come from an, a, from a, a culture where it's about survival. And yeah. then, you know, our generations come becomes more about self-fulfilling happiness and stuff. And and when you have like first generation immigrants that come from anywhere, Greece or crazy ass Armenian or whatever the fuck Absolutely. you from Armenia. <laughs> whatever Armenia. The... <laughs> it is Armenia. I mean, there's no mystery here. I've announced it. You and the Kardashians, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that 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 uh, Africans too, uh, uh, Ghanaians and Africans, Nigerians, it's we don't care what you like. You have to survive. And where this there's this whole other perspective now, it's like, Harry, what you were talking about in terms of the difference in culture is yeah. now we're well, what is what's going to make me happy? What what fulfills me? What do I feel good about? And then that's an American ideal. Yeah. Happiness is an American ideal. I remember one time when I was talking to my dad, I go when I was a little kid, because we were supposed to write down what our dreams were for the future. I go, <laughs> what you when you were a kid, what were your dream? You know, what what were your dream? What did you dream you wanted to grow up to be? He goes dreams. I didn't have a dream. Know, right? <laughs> we didn't have any dream. I kept pressing him. He goes, one time I had a dream. I was eating a sandwich. OK, go away. <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with that part. The whole What's America, that? Happy. And then back home, you were like begging for food. 
What do you mean? Yeah. I don't, Not I don't from see- my family. Point no, of view. they they just didn't focus on it. Like I I was just watching a show recently where the main character is American and she moves to Paris and they <laughs> say the same thing. She's like, we don't give a shit about happiness. Like this is not what we focus on. We we live. We lived. No, we work to live. Mm-hmm. Not live to work like right. Americans lived. Uh, yeah, it, that's why we're always pursuing happiness because we're working all the time. We don't have time for it. Dre, you you saying what did you do, what don't you agree? I'm not sure what no, you know. Harry was saying about like how his dad doesn't viewed happiness as an American thing. Happiness is for Americans. And it's like my family, I, you didn't see it that way. When I hear them talk about them coming from Jamaica to here, it was like we came here because we heard this is where they put the money. So he came to get some of the money they put here. <laughs> I want to go to fuck home. This place right. stinks. The food is trash. The, the traffic trash. The, the roads trash. Ain't no fucking plants, water, nothing. Give me my money so I can go to fuck home. OK, but here's right. here's yes, it. But, but that's but, all business. But, but that's kind yeah. of the same thing. I it mean, it's not. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Is I'm not. Separate. No, I'm not saying that you I'm not talking. I mean, I think what you're talking about is something to go because they want to Jamaicans always want to go home. They, uh, that's why they call it home. They could be here 36 years. They, Jamaica is still home. Because This shit is like you doing a bid, man. But what I'm saying is the 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 coming here is a utilitarian decision. Like you said, I'm coming here to get the money. You know, after the fact, right? there's things to accomplish. Yeah, there's things that you something to do. I mean, you don't and you don't have like j- Jamaican Americans. Uh, it's almost who, like you let go of happiness to come get the money. Right, right. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. That's, the but that's, a, that's different from the idea of a, of happiness is an American thing. Huh, fair enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Well, the ideal is, yeah, the ideal is. But then again, my, 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 I guess my family came from a poor country. Armenia was not a rich country, neither was Ecuador. Ain't no so black people both... over there is sad. The, what? <laughs> I mean, no Dre, you could go over the there. You could bad. dominate. You could we're gonna, be the, we're gonna get you, you a ticket, the, Dre. You could be the <laughs> Stefan Marbury of Armenia, bro. I mean, I'll literally, take over. you could play for the Armenian national team right now. <laughs> no, nah, <laughs> I'm going to start rapping over there. I ain't shit over here when it comes to rap. But over there, I'll blow the fuck up. You kill it. I'll be yeah. Armenian Jay-Z. There you go. I don't know if they're going to have that. They got rap about feta cheese. And... <laughs> they got feta cheese. Yeah, they do. That's their joint. Great. All right, now I might pull up. I fucked with the feta. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting that, cons, cons, you know, the, the how the cultural aspect of it. And I'm, I'm quite sure you've been doing it 17 years and you start to see these patterns in different cultures that you don't see in other uh, in other cultures. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Mm. And I, I see the same patterns that you see. Also, like a, a lot, a lot of people who are Asian have the same thing. Like, yes. Um, yeah. Korean. Yeah. They, they all have Asians. The same, yeah. I don't, don't want to say insecurities, but they have the same like. Yeah. Mm. It's very the, same, the fam- it's very uh, the, ordered. The, very the structured ordered. Expectation also from family is very present yeah. in that culture. You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.